Have you ever wondered what your responsibilities are to obtain informed consent in a collaborative practice setting? Let's go through three scenarios which focus on who's proposing the treatment and treating the client. Scenario 1. You work in a CHC and propose a nutrition care plan to a client. Since you're proposing the treatment and treating the client, it's your responsibility to obtain informed consent. Scenario 2. The Healthcare Consent Act states that if a treatment plan is proposed for a client, one health practitioner may obtain consent on behalf of all practitioners involved in the treatment plan. This means there are times when you can rely on another practitioner to obtain consent for nutrition care that is part of a treatment plan, so long as this other practitioner is sufficiently knowledgeable about the treatment. An MD in ICU obtains consent for a treatment plan that includes a nutrition intervention. To support the MD to make a treatment decision, you are consulted to provide your TPN expertise. If you do not propose or order treatment and are only consulted for recommendations, the responsibility falls on the proposer of treatment, in this case the MD, to obtain consent. Scenario 3. A client on the cardiology unit of your hospital requires nutrition intervention. While you don't have diet ordering authority, you propose the nutrition care plan to the client and obtain informed consent. Here, it makes practical sense that you obtain consent on behalf of the MD who will be ordering the nutrition treatment. The MD can then rely on you to obtain consent as you have the knowledge, skill and judgment to do so. The MD is permitted under their own college to delegate this to you. When another practitioner is relying on you to obtain consent, follow all protocols and clearly document that consent has been obtained. Know your team's processes and expectations for obtaining informed consent in your practice settings. Where gaps exist, advocate for clear processes that ensure informed consent. Consent is at the heart of client-centered care. For more information, visit collegeofdietitians.org.